Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we have a beautiful farman of Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah. And look at the date. It says Farman uh, Mumbai 10 5 1889. Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah would be around 11 years old. And he's given this farman. If you have read this farman, it is in this book. Transliteration, there are seven pages of this farman. It's a beautiful story Imam is sharing with the Jamaat, and it is about Hazrat Musa. And there are so many tawils which are hidden in this beautiful farman that it is just mind blowing, I would say. It is so amazing to realize that how Mola was beautifully in the form of story. Uh, teaching Jamaat all uh, he wanted to teach at that time. So Jamaat is gathered in front of Mola. Mola is only 11 years old in that Jama and he starts this beautiful farman. So what we'll do, I'm going to read this uh, Gujarati transliteration and then paraphrase and translate it kind of and then we'll talk about it. Haq Maulana Dhani Salamat Datar Sarkar Aka Sultan Muhammad Shah Hazi Maa Me Farma Viyu Ke Muminu Salwaat Padu Allahumma Salli Allah Muhammadi Wa Ali Muhammad Aaj Ratna Ame Ichhe Chhe Yani Amari Marzi Thai Chhe Ke Pegambar Hazrat Musa Ni Hadith Tamari Paase Bayan Karni Hazrat Musa Mimbar Par Besta Hata Ane Vaiz Karta Hata उम्मत सिवाय बिजा पर घना लोको भेड़ा थाता हता सिंतेर हजार तो फकत पैगंबर जादा यानी असल जे पैगंबर थाई गया तेना फर्जन दो तिया सामरता अने तालीम पर लेता हता यानी सीखता हता so in this paragraph, Imam is saying that it is my desire today to tell you about Prophet Hazrat Musa Alaihissalam. And I would like to tell you about his hadith. And uh, hadith meaning saying of the Prophet Musa. And then he says that Hazrat Musa salam, was sitting on a stage on a you know, higher ground. And he was delivering a lecture or was. And in front of him, there were people who were uh, followers of Hazrat Musa salam, and there were others too. And Mola then explains that, you know, who were included in that Jamaat who was sitting in front of Hazrat Musa salam, when he's teaching them. And Mullah says that 70,000 were children of Prophet, Pagambar Zada. All the children of Prophet, they were sitting there in front of him. And they were listening to the Talimat Hazrat Musa was giving. Meaning, they were learning from him. Hazrat Musa potana malma ghani magruri karta hata. Ane khushi thata hata je ketla badha manaso mara paase saambadwa aave chhe. Teo malma magroor thata hata. At that time, Mola tells us that the thought which was in the heart of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam was that he was so happy to see how many numbers of people have come, have gathered here to listen to me? Looking at that high number, he was feeling very happy. He was feeling pride and becoming proud about it. That, wow, there are so many people, you know, they have come to listen to me. Hazrat Musa, je kitaba, kitabu padta hata, ane temne paase, je kitabu hati, tene chalis unto bharata hata. Very interestingly, uh, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, uh, the books he was reading and he was explaining, those books could be carried by 40 camels. Camels are big animals, right? If you put weight on camels, 40 camels would carry all the books. Hazrat Musa pote magroor thata hata ane pegambar zada ane farmavta hata ke jo Hudavan Tala Mane Ketli Motai Apiche. He, in his heart, was feeling very, you know, pride, prideful, and he was telling these children of Prophet that, do you see that how 
Mola Khudavantala has given me this um, exaltedness that I am able to talk to you all and I'm able to teach you all. And that he also talks to me. We all know that Hazrat Musa salam used to speak to Allah. So he says that you do all know that, you know, Khuda Ta'ala speaks to me. Hazrat Musa aim kehta hata ki Khudawan Ta'ala pote mari saathe modhe thi vatu kare chhe. Every day Musa Pagambar garv leta hata. So Musa is telling them that um, Khuda Ta'ala is, speaks to me through his mouth, you know. And uh, that is how he was feeling very much pride in his heart. And he was talking to these children of Prophet. Ek divas Hazrat Musa was karta hata. Tiyare ek shak se Hazrat Musa ne poochi unke. Evo koi shaks che je tamara thi vadhu hoi. Now very interestingly when the session was conducted and the way it was impression was given that I know everything, I am able to give you all the answers and I am, you know, big shot. <laughs> so this gentleman in the group, he says, is there anybody who knows more than you? Because if someone speaks to Khudatala, Khudatala speaks to him and he has so many books and the knowledge of so many books that 40 camels carry the load of the books. This gentleman who's listening, he was so impressed and he said, does anyone know more than you? Hazrat Musa farmavyu ke mane khabar na thi. Very interestingly, his answer was, I don't know if anybody knows more than me. Hu na thi jartu ke mara thi koi vadhu hoi. And then he says, I don't think anybody knows more than me. Tej wakhat jibrai nazil thiya. Ane kahiyo ke e Musa Tame jao, ane te shaks paase elm seekho. Evo tamara maate khuda no hukum che. Immediately, at that moment when Musa said, I don't think anybody knows more than me. Immediately, Jibrail came and he said, Oh Musa, you need to go to a person, a gentleman, to learn knowledge. That is the order, that is the hukum of Khuda Ta'ala. Hazrat Musa hai kahiyo ke kyo shaks? Tene ho odok to na thi? Of course, when Jibrail says that gentleman, he says, who is this gentleman? I don't know him. I don't recognize him. Who I don't, you know, odok to na thi. I don't know him. Who are you talking about? Tiyare Jibrail hai kahiyo ke jetlu ilm dunya ma che te tame Te shaks paase sikhwa maate jau. Whatever knowledge is in this world, the knowledge of this world, you have to go to this person to seek knowledge. Angri thi nishani batavi ne kahiyo ke tame tiya jau. So Jibrai directs him by pointing to the direction that you need to go there and seek knowledge from that person. Teni paase thi ilm seekho evu tamara maate khuda no hukum che. Hazrat Musa hai kahiyo ke te shaks ne hun orokta na thi te ne hun gothu kya jau. Jibra le kahiyo ke tame jai ne joso to te tiyan che. Agar tame gothso to tiyan to te tiyan che. Agar tame agar tame gothso to te tame mal se. So there's a repetition Imam is repeating actually. Again, Jibrail says, oh, I, um, Hazrat Musa salam says, I don't know which direction to go. Who is this person? I don't know which direction to go to. So Jibrail also repeats that if you will, uh, this is the hukum of Allah, that you need to go to him. You need to seek knowledge from him. And if you will seek him, then you will find him. Then again, he says, if you will seek him, then you will find him. And he is there. He is there. But you got to seek him. And if you were to seek him, you will find him. Hazrat Musa Potana Janashin Yeshu ne lay ne chalia. Ane Hazrat Harun ne takhat upar besariya. 
તે વખતે જીબ્રાઈલે આવીને કહ્યું કે એ મુસા તમને ખુદાનો હુકુમ છે કે સાથે એક સુકી મછલી લઈ જાઓ તમને તેનાથી હજરત ખેઝર મળશે હજરત ખેઝર ને યાદ કરશો તો તમને મળશે અને તમે તમને શીખવશે આ માછલી જ્યાં જીવતી જીવતી થાય ત્યાં તે શખ્સ ને તમે ગોચો અને જોજો સો હઝરત મુસા અલ સલામ વેરી ઇન્ટરેસ્ટિંગ ઇમામ સુલતાન મોહમ્મદ શાહ ફરમાન આર લાઈક અમેઝિંગ વોટ ઇઝ સે દેટ હઝરત મુસા અલ સલામ હિઝ જાનશી યુશુ હી ટેક્સ ધ જાનશીન વિથ હેમ બટ ઓન ધી તખત હી મેક્સ હઝરત હારૂન સેટ નાઉ ધ ક્વેશ્ચન હિયર ઇઝ who are these two people we have heard the name of harun have we heard about yushi his full name is yushi bin nu and at that time when he does this planning that yushu will go with him and harun will sit on the takhat and at that time jibrail comes and he says that there's a hukum by khuda that you need to take a dry fish now dry fish if you have seen dry fish meaning they are dead fish right right um so he is asked to take this dry fish with him i'm so excited to talk about this farman it's a beautiful farman as a kid i used to love this farman and it's amazing so he is being told that you need to take this dry fish with you wherever this dry fish comes to life you will find hazrat kisir alai salam and you need to remember him tumhe ne yaad karo you need to remember hazrat khizr alai salam but wherever this fish comes to life at that place you need to seek him and he will come to life so we'll stop here for today and let's just talk about this so let's go from below to up um hazrat musa alai salam he is the prophet major prophet nathik we have learned that there are six major prophets according to allah's command that he says that i have created this world in 6 days so we do know those 6 days actually represent the tawili meaning of those days are actually major prophets yes we do have major prophets and we do have minor prophets so hazrat adam alai salam hazrat no alai salam hazrat ibrahim hazrat musa hazrat isa and hazrat muhammad so hazrat musa alai salam is the tawil of the fourth day him being the major prophet every major prophet brings the sharia he has his books uh, the revelation from the god and for hazrat musa we know his book 10 commandments right and then every major prophet has to have a sas he has to have a imam with him who gives the tawilat of those teachings those revelation from allah so we know we understand this concept from prophet muhammad that quran was revealed to him and maula ali was the asas similarly in hazrat musa alai salam who represents the fourth day of allah his asas was maula harun alai salam and there's a beautiful hadith by prophet muhammad that uh, the meaning of that hadith is that if we as seekers want to find about maula ali and prophet muhammad we will have to actually study in quran all what is mentioned about hazrat musa alai salam behind the veil of hazrat musa alai salam and hazrat harun alai salam there are there is knowledge about prophet muhammad and maula ali so taking that principle through that hadith if prophet muhammad was a major prophet and maula ali was the asas imam who did the tawil similarly hazrat musa alai salam was the fourth day and maulana harun alai salam was the asas imam but very interestingly if you look at this farman very critically imam sultan muhammad shah is teaching us and he is saying hazrat musa potana janashi yushu ne laine chalya if the janashin was yushu then where was hazrat harun who was hazrat harun we do know when we talk about prophet muhammad 
the janashin of prophet muhammad is maulali so the janashin of hazrat musa alayhi salam has to be maulana harun who is yushi binnu when we study the history which we have to we ought to and remember the last parman was also based on history so imam sultan muhammad shah actually te is teaching us telling us that we need to know about our religion islam our tariqa hazrat musa alayhi salam is part of islam religion because it is deen e haq so we need to study the history when we study the history we realize that maulana harun alayhi salam actually passes away during the lifetime of hazrat musa alayhi salam now can we imagine just to understand um, we i'm just using an example okay so forgive me that how it would be if prophet muhammad was there and maula ali is not there it doesn't make sense how would umma get the tawila but it happened in hazrat musa alayhi salam the asas passed away during the lifetime of the major prophet yushi bin nun actually was a khidmat guzar of hazrat musa alayhi salam hazrat harun alayhi salam he was not from the nurani family but because of his ibadat riyazat his elevation his farman bardari his service yushu was actually made asas imam after hazrat harun alayhi salam passes away maulana harun's children were very young at that time they were not uh, able to take the role of imam the way maula ali is imam right maulana harun is imam and his sons are very young so during that time period when the sons were very young and yushu bin nun was actually teaching his sons too he is the one who sits on the takht that is what imam sultan muhammad shah wants us to understand when he says hazrat musa potana janashin yushu ne laine chalya so here in this line actually there was a lesson of history so what i'm saying that imam sultan muhammad shah's farmans are so in depth there are so many tawilat that we really have to reflect and know a lot more than just reading and memorizing the farman there is much more in these farmans which we need to learn and alhamdulillah we are taking that journey all together to learn and understand so that was this paragraph about musa yushu bin nun and harun these are the three individuals who are mentioned in this story and uh, according to uh, jibril who is the angel now he is one of the arch angels right he is telling hazrat musa alayhi salam that you need to look for khizr the question would be who is this khizr if we were to look at the names of the imams um historically from the time of hazrat adam alayhi salam and these names are available in the books of par hujjata the day one when the cycle of adam started till today imams are there every point in time any point in time this planet cannot survive if imam is not there if someone does not know the name of the imam in the history time it only points to our lack of knowledge and needing us to read the books of our buzurg waridin so imam has always been there when we study the names of the imams from the books of our buzurg waridin very interestingly we do not find the name of khizr we do not find the name of khizr so the question is who was khizr generally everybody would say khizr was the imam but if you were to open up the books you will not find the name of khizr so we are back to our question who is the khizr maula ali answers that question maula ali says i am khizr maula ali is saying is ana khizr i am khizr so through the through the uh, blessings of imam we do know who was khizr khizr was actually imam though we do not uh, see the name but we according to maula ali's call we have learned that khizr was the imam this imam 
which we do not see having a physical jama. So the reference to Khizr is actually the Imam's Batini Joma, Batini Didar, Batni name. Khizr is the Imam in Batin. And Hazrat Musa salam, is being told to go look for Khizr. Very interestingly, he is being told to take a dried fish. Question is, why dry fish? What is the uh, tawi of the fish? Again, we have to refer to books of our Buzurgwari Deen to realize what is the meaning. Now, of course, if we go here and there, we might find different understanding and I have heard different uh, ex uh, explanations. But from the books of our dais, Smiley dais, Smiley Hujjatan, the fish is actually a parable for universal soul, nafse kulli. Fish is the example given, allegory given for us to understand about universal soul. Now, we understand who the fish is, but why this fish is dry? Is universal soul dry? It's not active. What are we saying here? Remember, this is all Imam teaching us about the Batni journey. Khizr is in Batin. At that time, the Joma of Imam was with Hazrat Harun salam. So, Khizr is that Imam which is in Batin. We are calling him Khizr. Fish is the allegory of Nafse Kulli. How come was it dry? It was dry in the batin of Hazrat Musa alayhi salam. That is what Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah is teaching us. Now the question again, why being the Pagambar, Hazrat Musa alayhi salam, being the Natik, is being told to take this dry fish with him. Fish which is a universal soul. Meaning, if any one of you know about the ranks of hudud deen hudud -e deen uh, according to our Islamic teaching, our buzurg -e deen has talked about it, that there are 12 ranks in hudud -e deen Just like we have 12 months in a year, each month represents a hudud. And very interestingly, when we look at the ranks of our hudud, natik is actually at the level of 10th. The rank of natik is 10th. 11th is universal soul. So interestingly, we are learning we are learning um, about Hazrat Musa alayhi salam's rank in Batin. Karim Sahib, I'm not able to share. I don't see the screen sharing. Let me see if I can. I, I've been disabled, so I'm not sure. Today we are in a different ground, so forgive me. I'm not able to share the screen, so let me just continue. Try now, Try now okay. Try now, okay. I messed up my own setting. Give me a moment. Today we have a test upon us, isn't it? That's good. You can see it. Mm -hmm. All right. So, Hudu uh, Devi, we were talking about, right? Hudu Devi. The rank of Natik is actually on the 10th, and Universal Soul is the 11th rank. So, Hazrat Musa salam, is being told to elevate his ranks. And he can only elevate his rank if he were to remember Khizr. Where is Khizr? In the bathroom. Remember Khizr, number one. Seek him with a dried fish. The fish has to be with him. Wherever the fish comes to life, that would be, that would be the place to find Khizr alayhi salam. 
So in reality, in just this one paragraph, I hope we realize that Imam is teaching us about history and the ranks of Hududidin. Now, those friends who do not know anything about Hududidin, I would request them to contact Karim Sahib, Naveen Sahiba, to get lectures which I've delivered on the Zoom and other places if you do not know about Hududidi. It is very important for us to understand these faramins, really understand these faramins, and we cannot understand if we do not know the concepts Imam is teaching us. Because every sentence of Imam has thousand meanings. We really have to work hard to do the justice to understand these faramins. So Imam is actually teaching us about the rank of uh, Hazrat Musa salam, that he himself was on the journey of progression. Remember the journey of soul? Ilm wali ru, darja ba darja upar charti hai. The soul which has knowledge will climb the ladder step by step. There is no shortcut. There is no jumping. One has to, each one of us, even in front of us is the example of our prophet. He also has to climb the steps one by one. Now, when he is being told to take the dried fish and seek kizr, wherever this fish comes to alive, meaning that he is able to elevate his rank to understand the universal soul's rank, merge at that level. What happens when we say that we need to climb step by step? The first rank is of mustaji, meaning student. The one who says, I don't know, I need to learn. Now, we all are, you know, are mature professionals, educated, different professions, whatever we are doing in our lives. We are successful wherever we are. It is very difficult to say, I don't know and I need to learn. That, just in that sentence, it requires one to be humble. That is another lesson Imam is teaching us here. We need to be humble to say, Whatever I know, I know that. But still I don't know and I need to learn more. And for that, one has to be uh, humble. One has to be humble to be able to um, learn this knowledge. So all of us, we have to realize that principle that we need humility. If we always think of what we know, then we have no space to learn anymore. And this Farman is very clear, teaching us from the example of Hazrat Musa salam. Now we have 10 minutes left. Karim Sahib, I think there is a lot more reflection and this Farman needs you know, time and we have lost our time due to technical difficulties. If anyone has questions, let's take that and we will continue with this Farman and please do not worry, we will go into detail of this Farman to talk about it. But whatever I spoke, if you have any comments, any question, let's tackle that. Thank you, thank you Nirmat Saiba. Uh, although we, uh, the time we had was quite short, it's yeah. amazing uh, that Tawil you actually shared with us. Uh, and I'm looking forward to next week when we go through the rest of the Farman. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Uh, friends, any anybody got any questions or comments? Uh, my name is Helam. Uh, I have a question about the before Maulana Ali from Azrat uh, Prophet uh, Adam to Maulana Ali. How many Imam was? Uh, and can you give me the name of those Imam if you have it? Yes, my dear brother, you can actually. Again, I would say contact Karim Sahib and Naveen Sahiba. They can direct you. Mm -hmm. They are present in the books. And um, the numbers of Imam are, uh, I don't know by heart, but every Natik to another Natik, normally mm -hmm. there are seven Imams. In between, from one Natik to another Natik, there are seven Imams. Mm -hmm. uh, however, from the time of Prophet Muhammad to uh, Hazrat Imam, we see uh, Hazrat Imam is 49th Imam. So 
there is a lot more behind these concepts. As I said, this is to do with a lot more learning to be really uh, understanding these concepts in detail. So if you, if you were to be interested, I would recommend you to join advanced classes to be able to understand because it will be difficult. In general group, what happens that we have different levels of understanding and knowledge. So we cannot go into that detail. But all this, what I'm sharing with mercy of Imam, mercy of Shah Kareem, it is, this knowledge is available for those who are seekers. It is available. Can I, can I talk? Yes. Okay. Uh, whatever you taught us today, uh, it tells me that Hazrat Musa is a Gumber, even he at an elevated stage at one time gets Magruri. So we as the student, can you imagine? It is an elevated path, but it is also a very slippery path. No, I, I don't I wouldn't say slippery path. I would say it is difficult. No, no denying of that. Um slippery can mean that you know it, it's like. Um, there are two aspects to this question. What your comment? There are two aspects. Slippery because we can get trapped into our own carnal soul, right? And we forget the lesson of humility. But those who are sincere seekers and they stay with Zikr Ibadat, Giriya Hazari, seeking knowledge and following the principles of humility, adab, etiquettes, all that actually is extremely important. When we continue to do that, then Mola's mercy comes and we are protected. But does shaitan not trap us? Definitely. Imagine that if someone is speaking and they have hundreds of people in front of them, of course, that is like a big test as well, right? So whenever we get success in our life, we have to be very humble, grateful, go into sajda and submit all success to imam. If we continue to do that, we continue to praise imam, not self, then it becomes easier. But yes, it is a test. And that is why Hazi Imam's Farman for Bethul Kyal, the success for Bethul Kyal is actually dependent on that principle, humility. If one is not humble, it, it would not work. So I hope another, you... another comment I also want to say at the same time, uh, as I said, it, it is a difficult path too, but also Mola Bapa is showing that if you come closer to me and if you by somehow make a mistake, I am going to hold your hand and indicate to you, do this like he's asking, go to Kizar and learn from him. He's not leaving us, he's holding our hand. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Mola is not leaving us, 100%. He is so merciful. It is us who become mindless, unconscious, and become very worldly. He does not. SubhanAllah. Any other comments? Any questions? How much more time do we have, Nirmat Saiba? Is it five minutes still? Three minutes. Three minutes, okay. So last yeah, question. Yeah, that... yeah. Uh, bye. Tiyare ame loko ne si kharta ta ne aari si ma. To Hazrat Kisar Paigambar no je daaklo che ne. Ema em si kharta hata ke je sukki machi che ne. E isme aazam che. अन्य जारे इन्हीं साथे आप जो हम तमें सिखाड़ो के आपने इन्हें एक्टिव करवानु चे इन्हें इन्हें अंदर मोलानु नूर चे तो ये हजरत मुसा पैगंबर जारे इन्हें एक्टिव करे चे याने कि माछली जीवती थाई चे त्याह इन्हें हजरत की जर मरे चे मतलब के जारे आप लोग इसमें आजम लाइफ थाई मतलब बड़ी बात आपने मतलब अने बिजो एक ए भी सिखा रहे थे कि सुखी मछली अत्ले जाहिरी नॉलेज अने जरे जीवती था ही मतलब कि अपने जरे बाती नहीं नॉलेज मा आगर वजी नित्यारे अपने मोलानों जे बाती नहीं इलम जे इलाई सके तो 
અને કેવી રીતે રિલેટ કરી શકાય થોડું લાઈક So remember, we just started to discuss and uh, uh, inshallah, we will go into depth of it. 